All right, this is the planning briefing for Sunday, December 5th. Here is the weather threat matrix. We're going to have a, a weather system come in on Monday uh, by daybreak, and we're expecting snow levels to be down to valley locations everywhere, with the exception maybe for area from Riggins to Whitebird. This is going to be a light event, but there could be two different moderate impact periods, one in the morning, one in the late evening. Moisture continues on Tuesday, but not as uh, widespread. Maybe more of a northwest Montana and also the mountains in the clear waters. And then we have chance for mixed precipitation uh, later Tuesday and the Wednesday, possibly northwest Montana, maybe a few valley locations in Idaho. More showery regime Thursday and Friday. So let's talk a little bit more about Monday and Tuesday. Uh, like I said, more of a widespread light snow event starting your daybreak could be like a several hour period in the morning where you know temperatures are cold enough ground temperatures are cold enough where it's more of an impact uh, may have to do some plowing you know a few inches of snow is possible through tuesday morning but during the day tuesday there could be some melting snow the event's going to be continuous like i said the valley accumulations may struggle uh, in the afternoon but after dark, it looks like this uh, wave that's coming down out of Canada is going to bring another window of snow along the I-90 corridor to the north and south, about 50 miles or so, uh, including the Clearwaters, Lola Pass. And that could be the other sort of moderate period of impact during the evening hours. Temperatures generally in the 30s, 20s in the passes, higher elevations. And this snow map is trying to include the what we call the 50th to 90th percentile ranges, trying to capture a little bit more of the potential range of snow amounts for this 24-hour period through Tuesday morning. So 1 to 3 Missoula, 2 to 5 Orofino, 1 to 2 Grangeville, 4 to 6 in the higher elevations, 3,000 feet and above in Clearwater County and also Idaho County. 1 to 2 inches generally northwest Montana, 2 to 4 Sealy Swan, 1 to 2 inches maybe in the southwest Montana, and 1 to 3 Lost Trail, and less than an inch for Lemhi County. All right, so this is looking at 24-hour probability for greater than 1 inch through Tuesday morning. There is a high probability I-90 corridor, Sealy Swan, also the Clearwaters, Orofino, the Lowell. There seems to be a little bit less of probability for greater than an inch for Grangeville area, maybe more towards uh, the Cottonwood area. Butte only has 23% chance of greater than an inch. It might just be half an inch uh, dusting to an inch in the Butte area, 5 p.m., continuing through like midnight, some light snow Monday evening. This is the probability of greater than two inches. There's 43% chance in the Missoula. There's even a 40% chance in Orofino, 50% chance in Lowell, not in Limit County, not in Silverbow County, not in Ravalli County, not in the Camas Prairie in Idaho. So here is a simulated radar forecast. This is starting 5 a.m. Monday morning uh, in MST. You know, precipitation is developing around daybreak and then uh, kind of continuing on through the morning hours. You can sort of see the uh, effects of the wave coming down out of Canada with the higher reflectivity values, especially like in the afternoon, West Central Montana, Clearwater County, and also in Idaho. We still have relatively cool temperatures at the surface. It's about this time in the afternoon, it's gonna be tough to accumulate in, uh, on the roads but you know grassy surfaces after sunset it's this period here that uh, we're a little concerned about things starting to freeze up a little bit i-90 corridor as you can see um, also in idaho north central idaho this continues for several more hours at least through midnight or 1 a.m uh, and there could be some residual snow in uh, clearwater county and also in the mountains. And then on Tuesday, this kind of ends Tuesday afternoon, but you can see the next wave moving in Tuesday afternoon into Northwest Montana. And that could be another round of snow, Kalispell, Libby, Yak, Pole Bridge, uh, continuing into Tuesday night. And there is even a chance for maybe a mixed precipitation in some of these areas, especially the lower areas, maybe towards Flathead Lake, depending on how the temperatures evolve. Here's another way to look at it. It's looking at weather type. So this is Monday morning. You can see the chance of snow 
basically area wide. Uh, the darker blues basically mean likely for snow. Uh, and this is like Monday afternoon and uh, then going into Monday night, the chance for snow lessens across Northwest Montana. Probably going to be some residual stratus clouds across northwest Montana Monday night. Not very confident, but there there could be some pockets of there could be some pockets of fog or maybe even freezing drizzle. Maybe if it stays moist in some of these areas, definitely have low confidence of that happening. But a lot of the model forecast soundings show a lot of moisture down low. Just wanted to throw that out there that that's a possibility. And then going into Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, you can see the effects of the milder air starting to push in aloft and uh, starting to get possible mixed precipitation, uh, you know, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And so it could be a, a could be a mess, basically, Tuesday night and Wednesday. Precipitation types all over the place, rain, maybe some, maybe freezing rain and of course snow. Snow level is generally three, four thousand feet on Wednesday. So this is a chance of freezing rain for Wednesday morning and it's kind of highlighting a few areas where depending on how the temperatures evolve, depending on surface conditions, there could be a chance for mixed precipitation in these areas, especially like Olney, Pole Bridge, maybe the Hungry Horse West Glacier, maybe the Sealy Lake area, Clearwater Junction area, uh, and also maybe Pierce to Greer in Idaho. There's a low probability in Lowell I think it's just gonna be maybe too warm. Here's a 24 hour probability for snow for Wednesday. On the left side, it's for greater than one inch. So it, as you can see, there are better chances in the mountains and for locations that are above three, 4,000 feet. And greater than two inches, Lookout Pass, Marais Pass, Essex, Lolo Pass, Sealy Swan, maybe the Yak. 24 hour probability snow mass for Thursday. Greater than one inch on the left, greater than two inches on the right. Looks like another chance for some snow in north central Idaho. You know, Orofino, Pierce, Lowell, Highway 12, US 12, Sealy Swan. Even some of the valleys in western Montana could pick up an inch. It, it looks like a very showery regime. And better chance for two inches would be in the higher elevations along the Idaho-Montana border, also Mission Mountains eastward. Here's Friday, uh, kind of similar to Thursday. It, it looks like a very showery regime, better chance for snow in the mountains, but a few valley locations could pick up an inch or so, and then greater than two inches. The highest probabilities are in the northern Clearwater Mountains and also the Mission, Bob Marshall, Swan Range, and towards the divide. And just to give you a sneak peek for Saturday, it looks like more snow in the mountains, maybe a chance for snow in the valleys in northwest Montana, and a few select valleys in north central Idaho, greater than two inches generally along the Idaho-Montana border, and even in the Glacier Park region. It looks like possibly a pattern change sometime next weekend back to more of a milder pattern and into the following week. Specific points, here's Marais Pass, Kalispell, colder, snowy, Monday, Tuesday, and then possibly moderating on Wednesday. Happy Zen along the US-2, similar temperature trend. Lookout Pass, kind of two distinct periods of snow. You have got the Monday into Tuesday morning, and then you have the Tuesday into Wednesday with the overrunnings or a warm front sort of precip, Evero Hill, Sealy Lake, McDonald Pass, Georgetown Lake, Missoula, Butte. Seems like not as much precipitation in the first four days of this week. Lola Pass, Orofino. That 2.5 inches is predicted for the afternoon, which I don't 
think it's going to accumulate very much on the roads because of the timing of this. Grangeville, same thing with Grangeville. Elk City, Lost Trail Pass, Salmon, maybe a skiff or a dusting on Monday. And this is the Idaho County line, which is south of Riggins, showing a little bit of snow. The 8 to 14 day outlook for December 13th through the 19th. We're looking at above normal chances for precipitation and for temperature near normal across northwest Montana, north central Idaho, and above normal southwest Montana to Lemhi County. If you have any questions, give us a call or email us at nws.missoula at noaa.gov or you can visit our website at weather.gov slash missoula.